Welcome back to the YouTube channel with your boy Mr. Ghana, baby. I mean, look around me. What do you see? I don't think you even know what this is. Do you know what this one is? This is what? A cocoa. I mean, most of you have been enjoying chocolate, but you don't know that chocolate is made out of cocoa. So, which means that the chocolate that you have been enjoying, this is the raw material. So I just want to welcome you all to my father's 50 acres cocoa farm. Grab this one and enjoy. Ghana, my beloved country, is blessed with rich and fertile soil. So which means that agriculture is the main source of income for most Ghanaians. But do you know that Ghana is the second largest producer of cocoa in the world? If you don't know that, now you know. So you just have to know that planting cocoa is a cash crop in Ghana. acres that's huge right that's a huge land bro so you can imagine the kind of work that people do in here I, i'm not here to show off because i don't remember the last time that i even came here but um my senior brother is taking care of this so can you just join me let's give him a round of applause man i know he doesn't like the camera but today whether he like it or not he will be on this video <laughs> And make our nation great mm -hmm. and strong. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, that's my senior brother. He doesn't even want to appear on the video, but today I have to force him to do this for me. Hi. <laughs> only the voice, only the voice. Ah, trust me, it's only the voice. You see yourself. You see yourself. I'm already recording the voice. Ah, they said 50 acres. Okay. Captain bought 50 acres of land. Is a bot or rented? What? God have mercy. God have mercy. Today you have to talk. Huh? 50 acres of land was it bought or rented? No problem. Mm -hmm. 50 acres of land in Africa. I will never advise anybody to go for 50 acres of land and buy 50 acres of land for farming. Yeah? So most of the times it's on a rental basis. Uh, you have, some will give you up to like 50 years, uh, others will give you like 99 years. Where they will accept a token like a hundred Ghana city per acre. So with the 50 acres, you can talk about maybe uh, 5,000 Ghana city. Because now you are the one taking care of all this mm. 50 acres of land mm. of this cocoa farm, yeah? Which means you're super rich. <laughs> are you not rich? Yeah? <laughs> 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 what are the, what are, no, uh, no, the way you're laughing, uh, what are the difficulties, uh, you know? You know, when it comes to difficulties in cocoa farming, yeah. every every job comes with any difficulties. Mm -hmm. And when you ask anybody, maybe the person will be tempted to say uh, the number one problem when it comes to cocoa farming is money. But then I beg to differ because uh, money has been a problem when it comes to any aspect of life. But then my only problem is with the government where the government will behave as if he is doing everything for the farmer. In actual fact, in Ghana here, a cocoa farmer does not even owe 
the cocoa itself when it's harvest. So you don't own the cocoa. Yeah, yeah. You don't you don't own the cocoa farm when it the when you actually harvest the cocoa, you go through the process, um, fermentation, drying, and all that. After the cocoa, you get the the beans the itself. Beans, the it's, not, beans. it's not for the farmer. The farmer ought to sell it to the government. The government. You, the farmer, cannot use the cocoa beans for anything. What? Whatever you do to the beans, it's illegal unless you sell it to the uh, to the government. But I, I wanted to establish my own factory, my chocolate factory. And I wanted to use your cocoa. Oh, it's 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 never possible unless so I cannot buy it direct from no, you. No, no, you cannot buy it from you. I have to sell it to the government. Government, the government and I go and buy it from the you government. Buy, you buy it from the government. But uh, that's my father's cocoa farm, and I want to use the cocoa beans uh, for my see, father's cocoa farm. <laughs> process my the own government, chocolate. The government, the notion out there is the government is actually helping the farmers in terms of spraying the farms wow. with insecticide, giving the farmers fertilizers and all that. But then the previous government, uh, I'm not trying to do politics here, but then the previous government was, was actually giving out the fertilizer for free. But then, in this case, uh, with this current government, he is giving it, uh, giving the fertilizers to the farmers at a price of 80 Ghana CD per bag. And in actual fact, uh, every acre of a cocoa farm takes about three acres. So you can do the mathematics here, 50 acres and you divide 50 acres by three. Uh, you can do the math. So you can imagine uh, the number of fertilizers you're going to you buy. buy. And it's all the farmer's cost. And at the end of the day, the cocoa is not even for you. You have, you can't use the cocoa yourself. You have to sell it to the government and you, go in there. you, buy, you buy from the government if you want to use the cocoa for anything. Wow. Yeah. It seems some of you don't even know what he's talking about though. But um, he's talking about the beans from this cocoa pot. Inside, inside this cocoa pot, yeah? Charlie, come closer. Let me show them. Okay. So, this is the beans that is not for you. <laughs> but you can eat this raw, by the way. So, I don't think the government has to come for me for eating this one. <laughs> mm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sorry, eh? This is the cocoa beans. You can actually eat this, but don't swallow, please. <laughs> Very sugary. So it's the same cocoa beans that is being fermented and then yeah. dried and then so this will go through the fermentation stage for like five days mm -hmm. and you bring them to uh, what do you call it to drying where you they stay up in the sun for like extra maximum extra five days and it's ready ready for the, for the government <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's ready for the government it seems that my brother is not happy about what the government has been doing. So please do me a favor, share this video and tag the Ghana. Is it Ghana Cocoa Board? Mm, Ghana Cocoa. Ah, help me tag Ghana Cocoa Board, please. Can you do something about it? Because I cannot be coming here struggling and then I come and give you my whole cocoa. I know there are so many farmers out there who love to complain about this, but they are not getting the chance. But it seems that it's good that I brought my brother today. Anyway, when you come in here, apart from the cocoa, you still got a chance to go try fresh coconut. Oh my goodness, man. What else do you want? I can even sleep here if I want to. Yeah. Those of you who have never seen a palm fruit before, this is the palm fruit. In Ghana, we use this to prepare 
a pen coin. That's what the palm nuts do, man, especially for Saturday night. Amazing, right? So, you know what? One of the reasons why you need to invest in farming in Africa is that you get the chance to eat everything fresh from the farm. As you can see, I don't need to go and buy this from the market. Right from here, I'm just gonna harvest this for my farm. Have you liked the video yet? Are you new to this channel? Please don't forget to subscribe and be part of this awesome family. But after a long hard day work in a scorching sun, all you need is a fresh palm wine. I mean, fresh palm wine will make your day. Bees, Anna. I would know woman. A woman. Bees, huh? Hey, hey. Got this inside. So this is like palm wine, yeah? the sap of the palm tree. Yeah. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. so, how can I drink something once I see the bees inside? Yeah. Oh, wait, you this, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. 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 If you don't know palm wine, palm wine is an alcoholic beverage that we get from a palm tree sap. Yes, I said it, it's an alcoholic beverage, but the level of alcohol in it is very, very low. But I also want to show you guys how alcoholic beverage, I mean, the real gin, the vodka of Ghana, I mean, vodka version of Ghana, is being made. If you want to know that, leave a comment, let me know, and um, yeah. I'm gonna see you again in the next one. Don't forget to like this video, share, and subscribe. I am Maya. Peace out. <sighs>